I have a young person I'm working with right now um, who's been on blockers for about two years. Mother's anxious for the kid to come off. The pediatric endocrinologist is saying, they can go a little longer. Um, and the kid is vacillating, um, really not wanting facial hair, um, but meh about having menstrual cycles and kind of vacillates about whether breast development, chest development bothers them or not, and which pronouns they use. And we all know that chest surgery is pretty inevitable, or at least it looks like that, because that has consistently been a bothersome thing. So is there more um, benefit of staying on blockers or letting the kid switch back to their endogenous estrogen? Or is it better to go low dose testosterone or what, you know, and at what point in time? So um, if the kid doesn't want facial hair, but maybe doesn't mind their chest growing if they're planning on having chest surgery anyways. So we may want to, you know, be creative in how we help folks approach these situations that are complex.